Every fighter has a story. What is yours? Yes, yes. One, two. Two more. One, two. Again, people forget that uh, it starts with a, a teacher and a student, really. And uh, it takes a while to, to get used to each other and also figure out what is good for another. And, um, and he was a very open book. And he learned also, he, he had, a, of course, a great group of people around him that helped him along the way. Great training partners, Anthony Johnson, uh, like I said, Michael Johnson, all these guys. Uh, they helped him a lot too. And, uh, and slowly, slowly, fight by fight, I mean, we all know that we all knew that he could take everybody down when it had had to be done. So in some fights, we wanted to have him stand up a little longer. Sometimes they worked, and sometimes it didn't work. But the most important thing, especially when you make it to the UFC, is that you win the fights and get two checks, because we're not fighting for fun over here. You know, it's a, it's a hard business, and not everybody will make money in this business. So that's the most important thing. So he learned very quickly how to win fights, and that's what I always think is the most important thing is to learn how to win fights and you get kind of addicted to winning it and it doesn't matter how you win it but you get addicted to that feeling of winning fights and from there on you're going to look better and then you're going to shine you're going to have better moments and i think he did it step by step and with a lot of help from his uh, training partners and a lot of work from him again um he got it done you know and uh yeah along the way we we saw it and i, I kind of after i think it was strickland and these fights I kind of thought like he has a very clear path to uh, to get that belt because uh, I don't see a lot of people working like he's working, you know. Gilbert being even a lightweight, like, what did you see in his ability right off the bat? Was it all, was the power always there? Was the striking always there? His jujitsu, obviously, he's a, a black belt. Like, what was it about his development that makes you look at now and say, I'm not surprised that this guy is where he is? Yeah. Well, I mean, similar work, uh, work ethic. Got two great kids, brings them everywhere. Family man, like Amaru is. Spent a lot of time with the kids, um, always on time. Had a great mentor. I mean, if you're with Vito Belfort, you're gonna learn to train hard and be on time because that's like full speed, Vitor, you know? So, um, and I, of course we saw that he had power, but it's not that I wanna be a uh, smart ass here, but I told him from the first fight that he did with Andrea Stahl, that he had to be a 170 pounder and he will tell you that myself not a 155 pounder because he cut 35 to 40 pounds to make that weight and then uh, you look just awful especially if you're still in the learning process if you still uh, need to figure out uh, how to move uh, striking wise how to transition from uh, striking into grappling it takes a lot of uh, takes a lot of different things 
to get that right, you know, a lot of energy and, uh, and you need a lot of energy. And if you do these crazy weight cuts, he won some great fights at that weight, but he also lost against uh, two guys where I thought if it was a normal weight, he wouldn't, wouldn't have lost these fights. So at this 170 weight class, he's just fresh, a lot of energy. And his power doesn't surprise me. We always knew that. He's still a little raw. Um, and again, comparison to him and Kamaru, yeah, also a little raw. Uh, give us a little bit, uh, a little bit more emotional sometimes, uh, and that's not always good. But if you have no emotions uh, when you fight, it's also not good. So, but I always, I always thought again, like if if you if you Vito t takes you on the road and brings you here, you have to have something. Great jujitsu, uh, great team player. Like, can't say anything. He's always there. Trains hard, spars really hard. So him and Kamaru had a lot of hard sparring sessions. That's why when that fight came about, it was like, you guys are just gonna fight each other like you've been fighting for each other for a lot while. You're just gonna make a lot of money. But um, so yeah, crazy enough to, to think about it now that the two of the like most dedicated guys and, and you can see what you what happens when you be dedicated and good family man. Because if you have a good base as a fighter, if you have a good home, because Look, if you're winning, everybody will be your friend and everybody will be around. But if you lose, you have your family, man. Your, your son and your daughter still, I love you, daddy, the next day. They wake you up. Uh, it's beautiful to see that because uh, you can't always win. You won't always have success. You know, it's, it's hard to live a life like that. People don't understand. It's not a team. You can't blame anybody else than yourself. So it's, I think uh, the best fighters in the world, they need to have that uh, good home base. Uh, they, they need to have a family that, uh, that, that be there to support them. And also, you make so much money, it's great to feed your family, get your kids to school, because that's where the money is for. Not to spend it on stupid cars and, and all st stuff that is not like a part of your lifestyle, really. You know, because if you're a fighter, it's a lonely, lonely profession. So, so it's good to see that these guys, uh, family-wise, are doing well, too. Good job. We're going to keep that going, OK? In elementary school, we're going to keep it going. Then we'll keep it going in middle school, keep it going in high school, right? Then we'll go to college and keep it going, right? Right. And now then the, first grade. Yeah, first grade too, yeah. Okay, I see you. I seen you yesterday too. You was fresh what, with them boots. What a, what's after first grade? Second grade. Oh, oh, oh. My brother. Oh, 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 oh. My brother. Looking good, looking good. He's ready. Just losing some pounds now. Tomorrow, make weight. And Saturday, puts all the, the work. He's training really hard. His whole camp. He looks spot, man. He looks spot on. He looks good on his striking, good on his wrestling. He did a lot of work on his Jiu Jitsu. It's his, it's his main weapon. So. I think he's gonna go there, he's gonna put a great show, he's gonna put a great performance, hopefully finish this fight, like I think, second round, and then we're gonna go celebrate after. Forty-six minutes, forty-seven working. Thirty more here. Then little pads working. Secret, little secret here, I'll share with you guys. Then a little sauna, I'm going to sleep. Tomorrow we'll make weight. First battle will be done. Then we're going to a real battle. Some working. The boys, we sweating. We sweat together, we bleed together. We win together. When people get famous, they have management, promotions, everybody gets involved. But it started all with the trainer and the student, and the student becomes a fighter, and then he becomes a successful fighter, and he becomes a champion. Uh, the reason that uh, Kamaru isn't training at this moment now is not a reason because I didn't like it or we didn't like it. No, we decided all together that was the best way to do it. He, I'm happy that he went to Trevor again. Uh, great coach. Uh, I'm, and I'm not 
I'm not crazy about everybody else in the world, but he's a great coach. And we have contact even when they fought each other. We call each other. He comes here, his post is here on his uh, on his rack here. That doesn't change for me. For me, it doesn't change. He's still my student, you know. And whatever happens in the fight, I told many people already. I train Gilbert because Gilbert is training here. If Kamaru was here, I'll be training Kamaru and Gilbert because they fight each other. I just won't be coaching somebody in the corner because that's too personal for me. You know, and this story is not about me. This story is about two guys who work so hard to get somewhere. And uh, and we did the same with our gym, with Sanford Gym. And uh, people have to understand that business is business. Uh, I got some messages from people that say, yeah, I, I choose sides and everything. No, nobody chooses sides. This is just the way it is, you know, and we all have peace with it. If we have peace with it, the teacher and, and the students, why don't everybody else have peace with it? Just let it be.